This video is intended to provide a basic understanding of the procedures involved in conducting a smog check inspection using a BAR OBD inspection system, or BAR OIS. Refer to the latest version of the smog check manual for full inspection procedures and also to determine which vehicles require an OIS inspection. The smog check manual can be obtained from BAR's website at www.smogcheck.ca.gov. The OIS screen prompts must be followed. Before startup, the data acquisition device, or DAD, has to be connected and powered up. The user begins by double-clicking on the California BAR OIS icon on their computer's desktop. The BAR OIS software then displays the main menu screen. After confirming the correct station information is displayed in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, the inspector begins by selecting option 1, Perform Inspection. At the user login screen, the inspector scans their inspector badge and then enters their password. After reading the terms and conditions, click Continue. During this step, as well as with all other steps, accuracy is critical to ensure a proper vehicle inspection. Some data entered during the inspection cannot be re-entered, and if entered incorrectly, the inspection will have to be aborted and started again. It is unlawful for the inspector to enter information from a different vehicle other than the one that is currently being tested. At the Scan Vehicle VIN screen, the inspector is prompted to scan the vehicle identification number, or VIN, barcode on the vehicle. Next, the BAR OIS software will also prompt the inspector to verify and scan the DMV Registration Renewal Notice. Only scan the DMV Registration Renewal Notice if they match. If a VIN barcode does not exist on the vehicle, or the DMV registration is not able to be scanned, the inspector should select Unable to Scan. Some newer model year vehicles have a 2D type VIN barcode that requires use of a 2D barcode scanner. Next, at the License Plate Issuing State screen, the inspector chooses the state of origin for the vehicle's license plate, then click Continue. At the Confirm Vehicle Information screen, the inspector verifies that the information displayed is correct. Click Yes if the information matches. At the Fleet Type screen, the inspector is asked if the inspection is for government, business, or permanent fleet vehicle. In most cases, the inspector selects No. At the Certification Type screen, the inspector is asked if the vehicle has California, Federal, or Bar Referee Certified Emission Controls. Certification Type may be determined by viewing either the Underhood Vehicle Emissions Control Information Label or Referee Label. Select the correct certification type and click Continue. At the odometer screen, the inspector enters the mileage from the vehicle's odometer. Enter the vehicle reading exactly as shown. Do not enter the tenth digit. Do not make adjustments for odometer rollover. If the vehicle's odometer is missing or inoperable, check None. Once mileage is entered, click Continue. At the Confirm Vehicle Data screen, the inspector verifies that all the vehicle data is correct before proceeding. Click Continue. The Test Modules screen displays which visual and functional tests will be required for this inspection. Click Continue. It is important to connect and disconnect the DAD only when prompted by the BAR OIS software. At the MILCHECK KOEO screen, the inspector enters whether or not the malfunction indicator lamp, or MIL, is turned on. A properly functioning vehicle should turn on the MIL to show that the bulb is working. If working properly, click Yes. If the MIL doesn't come on, click No. At the next MILCHECK KOER screen, the inspector enters whether or not the MIL is illuminated with the engine running. A passing vehicle will not have the mill on at this point. With the engine now running and mill is now off, click Yes. At the static OBD test screen, the BAR OIS software requests the DAD to retrieve OBD2 data from the vehicle. 
a rotating circle and green bar will show data collection in progress. When complete, the OBD Test Complete screen displays and asks the inspector to turn the vehicle off and disconnect the DAD from the DLC. Press OK when finished. It is important to disconnect the DAD only when prompted by the BAR OIS software. Certain vehicles may falsely illuminate the mill if an OBD scan tool is connected or disconnected when the ignition is on. The smoke check screen prompts the inspector to enter results for both the exhaust system and the crankcase system smoke check. Click Continue. A smoke check is not required for hybrid-powered vehicles. Visible smoke test procedures are similar for gasoline and diesel vehicles. Refer to the smog check manual for all the details on performing the visible smoke test. If the vehicle fails the visible smoke test, the inspector shall document what portion of the smoke test the vehicle failed, such as crankcase smoke, idle smoke, and or bar snap smoke test. Documentation of the failure must be noted on both the customer's final invoice and on the VIR. The failed results may be typed in the VIR comment box found on the smog check results screen later in the inspection. Click Continue. At the liquid fuel leak check screen, the inspector is prompted to enter the results of the liquid fuel leak test. The liquid fuel leak test is not required on vehicles exclusively powered by diesel, compressed natural gas, liquefied natural gas, or liquefied petroleum gas. The purpose of this inspection is to determine if there is fuel coming from the vehicle's fuel delivery, metering, or evaporation systems. A visible drop or puddle shall constitute a failure. Don't forget that the liquid fuel leak test is conducted with the engine running. Use extreme caution when working around moving parts and ensure the transmission is in park or neutral with the parking brake on. Inspectors must indicate on the vehicle inspection report the location of any liquid fuel leak. An inspector may refuse to inspect a vehicle or may abort an inspection if a liquid fuel leak presents a safety hazard. If no liquid fuel leak is found, the vehicle shall pass this portion of the inspection and the inspector shall select Pass at the liquid fuel leak check prompt. Then click Continue. If a liquid fuel leak is detected, the inspector shall select Fail at the liquid fuel leak check prompt. During the visual inspection, the inspector identifies each emissions component required to be on the vehicle and makes sure that all components are installed and properly connected. Refer to the smog check manual to determine if an emissions control component passes, is tampered, defective, not applicable, or requires a California Air Resources Board executive order. Inspectors must use all available information necessary to determine the vehicle's emission control requirements, including but not limited to the underhood vehicle emissions control information label, a current emission control application guide, emission control repair manuals, emission component location guides, manufacturer emission control recalls, vacuum hose routing diagrams, EO parts listings, the aftermarket part label, and any reliable vehicle manufacturer sources. In some cases, a vehicle may have a bar referee label that identifies emission control and inspection requirements. At the Emission Control Systems Visual Inspection screen, the inspector is prompted to select Pass, Tampered, Not Applicable, or Defective for each of the Emission Control Systems. Enter Results and click Continue. The Emission Control Systems Visual Inspection screens will change based on the vehicle's fuel type with gas and diesel screens containing different emission control systems. At the aftermarket parts check screen, the inspector is asked if the vehicle has aftermarket emission control components that require a California Air Resources Board executive order or EO number. An EO label on the vehicle must match the ARB's website to identify the aftermarket part approval for that particular vehicle. If no aftermarket parts, click no. At the prior emissions repair screen, 
The inspector is asked if emission repairs were performed prior to the start of this inspection. If the inspector chooses yes, the BAR OIS software will require repair data entry. If no repairs were performed, click No. If the vehicle has passed the inspection, the Certificate Issuance screen will ask the inspector if a certificate should be issued for the vehicle. Click Yes to issue a certificate. If the inspector chooses No, the VIR will print the overall test result with a No Certificate Issued message. If the vehicle is failing its inspection, the Certificate Issuance screen will not display. Inspectors may use the BAR OIS for training purposes by choosing to not issue a certificate. A transaction fee will still be charged. At the Smog Check Results screen, the inspection outcome is displayed and the inspector is allowed to enter a comment which will be displayed on the Vehicle Inspection Report, or VIR. Popular comments include an explanation of vehicle issues that may affect a STAR score, description of potential DAD or BAR OIS software bugs, or even a customer message thanking them for their business. Click Continue. Finally, the Vehicle Inspection Report is displayed. The inspector must print and retain at least one hard copy of the VIR in the station. Additional copies, in either English or Spanish, may also be printed. The Save function also allows the inspector to save VIRs electronically on their OIS computer. If electronically saving the VIR, the station is still required to keep a hard copy in the station for a minimum of three years. The BAR OIS software will only display prior VIRs for 90 days. Attention! Please review the overall test result box on all passing BAR OIS vehicle inspection reports to make sure that the DMV electronic certificate was issued. On rare occasions, a vehicle will pass the OIS inspection but will not issue a certificate because the OIS software detected a loss of communication between the DAD and the computer. If this occurs, perform a DAD self-test to confirm DAD communication with the computer and then retest the vehicle. Upon clicking Finished, the BAR OIS software returns the inspector to the main menu. Be sure to provide a signed copy of the VAR to the consumer and keep another copy for your records. For more information, please refer to the BAR website at www.smogcheck.ca.gov.